I'm Katrina Cotton for Invest in Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Mary Zyme, a global multi-technology biomedical company dedicated to the accelerated development and commercialization of medical technologies that improve patient health outcomes, is featured in today's video by Investment Pitch Media. The company was recently granted a de novo from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for its first-in-class product, DuraGraft. With the granting of this de novo, DuraGraft is the first and only medical product that is FDA cleared for use as an intraoperative vascular conduit storage and flushing solution during coronary artery bypass grafting or CABG surgeries and is also the only approved product available for this indication in Europe and other countries. Duragraph has been studied extensively in clinical studies, including imaging studies, which showed that saphenous vein grafts treated with Duragraph have reduced graft wall thickening compared to standard of care. Saline treated grafts at 12 months post CABG surgery. Duragraph use is also associated with reduced long-term mortality through three years post CABG surgery. David Barthel, CEO of Marizyme, has joined us today to discuss the company and this exciting recent announcement. Welcome, David. Thank you, Katrina. And this is very exciting times uh, for Marizyme. Um, as of last week, we received FDA clearance for our flagship product uh, called Duragraph. And Duragraph is the first FDA-approved vascular graft storage and flushing solution used during cabbage uh, surgical procedures. Uh, what's exciting is, is that uh, Duragraph will enter into a very large market. Uh, there are about 500,000 uh, procedures done in the U.S. alone, about 1.5 million cabbage procedures done worldwide. And the real, the real problem is, is in the market is that vein grafts, uh, which are used during cabbage procedures, and again, a cabbage procedure is where there's a blockage or an occlusion of the heart, and they have to replace the artery vein with an artery or vein in another part of your body. In our case, uh, our indication for use is for the use of the saphenous vein, which is located in the leg. So what they do is they, they would then surgically remove the saphenous vein and they have to store it. Um, they have to have to wet it, they have to control it. Um, and then before, um, before putting it back into the heart, uh, they would use some sort of storage and flushing solution. In our case, it, it, it would be Duragraph. They would then take that uh, artery or vein, and they usually do this within an hour. They would then place it into the heart. So it is an intraoperative uh, procedure. Uh, the nice thing about Duragraph is that it does not change the procedure. So again, remember, this is sold directly to the hospitals, sold in an OR, and it's sold to cardiac thoracic surgeons for a very, very important procedure. Now, the problem uh, that it indicated earlier is that uh, vein grafts fail. Uh, and actually, the, the uh, statistics show that 30% of vein grafts actually fail in the first year. So the solution is actually Duragraph. Uh, Duragraph, because of its mechanism of action uh, through its reduction of oxidative damage, uh, maintains the structural and functional integrity of those vascular conduits. That's very important. There's nothing else on the market like this. Uh, this is a brand new product, but more importantly, it's a brand new technology that really aids not only the cardiac thoracic surgeon during the procedure, but more importantly, enhances um, the, the, the patient experience and, and uh, will eventually enhance patient outcomes. So what Duragraph has the ability to do because of that mechanism of action is eventually, hopefully reduce vein graft failure, um, which is a significant problem in, in, in the marketplace. So we're, we're very excited uh, about the opportunity, about the product. Uh, we are going to start the commercialization uh, process immediately. Um, currently, uh, Duragraph, with its CE mark, has been sold internationally for the last six years. So it is available in Europe and Asia. Uh, and we've shown significant growth just over the last 12 months. Um, it is being utilized with, by cardiac thoracic surgeons uh, throughout the other parts of the world. So we're very excited to bring it to, to, to the United States. Now, this means that we've, we've got to, to commercialize, we've got to put, put our team together and uh, take it out to the market, which will also include Canada, by the way. So um, although U.S. focus initially, we, we do plan to in, introduce it into Canada as well. Uh, but th this, is, this is exciting. This is dynamic. This is game-changing. This is first-in-class. You can tell how excited I am. 
uh, because there's been a lot of work. Uh, and as you know, getting FDA clearance, uh, and we were able to get it through a de novo process, which is a little bit different than what a 510K where you have a predicate device. A de novo means there was no predicate. So we had a higher bar. We had a we really had to have very strong clinical data and very strong messaging. Um, and so we were able to to achieve uh, what they call a grant through the de novo process to bring this product to market. Uh, so higher bar, um, greater challenge in terms of the data, but a much, much, much stronger technology going out to the marketplace. So um, in, in, in conclusion, um, we're excited. Uh, we think we've got a, a solution to, to a very large market problem, entering a very large market, uh, but have a very dynamic, game-changing technology to do it. So uh, keep, keep an eye on, on Marizyme. We're like a rocket ship ready to take off. Uh, and we look forward to, to driving utilization, uh, not only worldwide, but, but certainly in the United States and eventually into Canada. Thank you, David. Heart disease is a leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States with coronary artery disease, which affects the blood flow to the heart being the most common type of heart disease. About 660,000 people in the U.S. die from heart disease every year. That's one in every four deaths and on average one person every 40 seconds. According to the CDC, the estimated average annual U.S. cost of coronary heart disease is $219 billion. The Duragraph patent portfolio is growing and includes granted patents and pending applications in more than 30 countries globally, including patents granted in the United States, Europe, Australia, India, Argentina, South Africa, Mexico, and several Asian countries. In addition to its flagship Duragraft product, the company has a diverse pipeline portfolio to address unmet clinical needs in several large markets that management believes provide significant clinical and economic opportunities. With the FDA de novo granted, the company will now focus on executing its plan for U.S. commercialization with an emphasis on driving utilization in hospital integrated networks using its own direct sales force. The shares are currently trading at 15 and a half cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, marazyme.com. Contact Harrison Ross, VP of Finance, at 561-433-6626 or by email at hross at I'm Katrina Cotton for Invest in Pitch Media.